When the American Health Journal traveled to Southwest Florida, we discovered a clinic for the treatment of ALS. Dr. Adam Heller of Lee Memorial Health System tells us about it. Medically, it's referred to as amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or ALS, um, and it's a disorder and disease of, of the motor system of the body. Um, most people think it's just a disorder or disease of the muscles, but actually it involves the motor pathways in the brain, the spinal cord, as well as the nerves going out to the muscles. It's actually a primary nerve disease that ultimately leaves the patient with progressive um, and unfortunately untreatable uh, progressive weakness um, through its duration. Uh, Lou Gehrig and Stephen Hawking, I think, exemplify uh, the, the variable ways in which individuals are affected by the disease. Um, you look at someone who's relatively young, uh, healthy, like Lou Gehrig, and it affects them in a relatively rapid manner, as opposed to someone like Stephen Hawking, who seemed to have lived was living with the disease for decades. Um, and it's that uh, heterogeneity with how individuals are affected by the disease which is so challenging. I know in training, um, one of my mentors would tell me uh, with ALS, patients with ALS that you can see ALS in 100 different patients and it affects them 100 different ways. Recent research is actually suggesting that there is some correlation between types of frontotemporal dementia uh, which is a less common form of dementia than what most people think is Alzheimer's dementia, um, and some genetic uh, ties to ALS. Um, there have been uh, genetic uh, strides and actually a specific gene that's been found that links the two disorders together. And again, it's just another area where we are learning more about. But like most neurodegenerative disorders, there's a lot of overlap. Uh, about a year ago, a partnership between our neurology group uh, here in the community in Fort Myers and the Lee Memorial Health System, we have just started operating a dedicated multidisciplinary ALS clinic just for the management of patients with ALS. Um, it's a wonderful uh, opportunity for patients and their caregivers to come and to receive that multidisciplinary uh, management of their disease that actually that studies have shown. Um, promotes better survival, actually, as compared to people who are managed in a non-multidisciplinary approach. Are we getting any closer to a cure? Unfortunately, and like we tell our patients, there is no cure for this disease. It is a progressive neurologic disorder. But what we can do is offer them the best quality of life that they can have and offer them the appropriate services that they need and desire to uh, enhance and maximize their livelihood at the time. A question about understanding ALS and treating and hopefully curing ALS is a question I get every day when I see ALS patients. And the answer I would have for you and the answer I have for them is we're getting closer, but like most neurodegenerative diseases, we need to have better understanding of the process that leads to the disease uh, presenting itself so then we can target appropriate treatments, whether they be medications, uh, genetic therapy, stem cell therapies, all of which are being studied at various centers throughout this country and throughout the world. But I think we're closer today than we were five years ago and 10 years ago. But it's hard to say, especially when you have a patient who you know and they know that their life expectancy is just a few years. Um, in reality, I don't think people who are diagnosed today within their lifetime, I don't think we're going to see a cure. But I'm hopeful that five, ten years down the line, we will.